guys. Hope everyone's doing okay. I'm here to show you how I'm planning to do a moss bowl. Actually, I like the way it looks in terms of how it's trailing. Um, but I just feel like I want to experiment a little bit and just see how it's kind of like being in a moss bowl. So without further ado, here's the materials that I'm going to be using. Um, it's just a, a small uh, wooden thing that I got from Home Depot. I got it from I think a dollar fifty if I'm not mistaken and this is a three quarter by a feet and we're gonna need some velcro to hold the tent um, the zip ties also this net this is kind of like a plastic almost feels like a placemat and it's it's not too hard at the same time it's it's not too soft so it kind of retains its shape um, I got this from Amazon uh, I'll be providing you with all the links and of course the sphagnum moss. So I already, I already uh, washed it and uh, wet it with water so it's just sitting and I wring it out so it's not uh, dripping water anymore. First step is to cut this netting to the size that I want it to be. So. As most of you know, I I am growing a lot of my plants in Leka, and I already kind of measure this to be over here, so that wet spot is where it's going in in the pot. So I'm just gonna try to measure how much more I want to put um, the moss in. So maybe over here, cut the scissors here. I'm just gonna cut. So I'm just using regular scissors, and um, you know, like I said, it's not too hard, so regular scissors will do the trick. Next, I'm just gonna lay out my moss. Okay, now for the exciting part. Let's see if we can zip it up. So I'm going to do the same for the rest of it. It doesn't have to be really tight, like in terms of, you know, how far away the zip ties are from each other, but it has to close. So just keep that in mind. I'm down to one or two, and we should be good. Okay, last one. Now that we have that, um, you know, if you have some stuff that's kind of poking out, just poke them in, put them in place if you wish, but if not, you can just leave it. So after that, after you tighten everything up, just cut the zip ties, I mean the excess part of it. So one thing I noticed is some of the uh, this white stuffs are sticking out too. So you either cut it or towards the end, I actually tuck them in over here so they're not sticking out. So I try to do it over instead, I mean under instead of over. So you can just cut it so it's not in your way. Um, Let's 
see how this goes. So just a note, um, the actual, uh, you know, sturdy part where the wood is, is just only up to uh, one teeth. So the top part is a little softer, but it's still going to hold its shape. But if you're going to um, put this in like, you know, heavier plants like monstera, I think it would be better if you actually get a stick that's longer. I've seen something that's like two feet or three feet in Home Depot and I think that would be more appropriate for, um, you know, top heavy plant. Okay. So, I actually need to take out some of the liquor here first because I need to be able to insert that pole in. It can actually pretty stand by itself even when I'm not holding it and it's just because that wooden uh, pole is helping it get, you know, freestanding. So let's put a plant back in. Pretty much just like we're potting any plant, we just stick it right back in and start pulling the rest of the leka. it's good and it's time to put the plant on the pole so I'm just gonna get some of the longer ones and just kind of start putting it onto the pole 